So hello everyone. First of all, congratulations. Uh, uh, you know, TCS NQT has been announced, and I know that you will have a lot of doubts. There are people who are who have already registered for the paid version of the NQT test, and then there are some people who did not register for it. Uh, so there's a humongous amount of confusion in terms of what is the difference between the paid NQT version and then the free uh, Ninja exam that TCS is giving. So what we did was again. Uh, I got on a call with one of the lead uh, person from the campus hiring team from TCS, and I uh, about an hour ago, and I understood what the whole thing is about. Even they are a little confused because it's a large company. There's a lot of communication that happens to and fro, but I'll try to explain you how the whole thing goes by. Now, let me give you a little context because you'll 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 need to understand the backstory of the whole thing, and then only. You will come to understand what are what is the difference between the both of them, and obviously, don't worry. In this video, we'll be covering the syllabus and the recruitment pattern. Now, uh, I went to Chennai about one and a half years ago from today. So TCS one uh, TCS Ion, uh, which is the learning division or uh, TCS, which conducts all the assessments and so on and so forth as well, uh, wanted to partner with us for one of their products that is called us. CCQT, that is Common Corporate Qualifier Test. With that test, what they were hoping to do is they were uh, they were hoping to launch something that is a competitor to AMCAT and CoCubes. That is, you give the exam, you get a score, and based upon this score, you are able to apply to different companies, including TCS as well, right? So they launched uh, CCQT. Then they later rebranded the CCQT as NQT last year, right? So when they rebranded it, we were like, you know, we'll not partner for this. We want you to go ahead with NQT on your own, but we were partnered with them for the CCQT, wherein people were buying CCQT from Prep Insta's website only, along with the TCS website. Uh, we later on partnered with them for remote internship certification, which is that is whenever you buy Prep Insta Prime subscription, you get a uh, certification from Prep Insta Nano degree. And also remote internship certification from TCS and TCS Ion in skills like blockchain, AI, ML, so on and so forth. Right. So this NQT that has been launched. Now let me explain it to you. What's the difference between that? So if you basically both of them are similar thing, the Ninja hiring that they've announced and the NQT that they already have, both of them are the same thing. Just a minor difference. If you give NQT test. That is, if you pay for the NQT test, the score that will be generated for you, you will be able to apply for, uh, to approximately, uh, you know, hundred, hundred and fifty plus corporate, uh, corporate, uh, uh, corporates like which, uh, like uh, Tech Mahindra, ITC, Infotech, Publicis, Sapient, etc., etc. And I'm sure that there is a list that they shared with us last year. We'll also put that somewhere on the screen so you can see that as well. Along with TCS as well, so all of these hundred plus corporates plus TCS, so your scores are sent to all of these companies, right? But if you don't pay for the NQT test and you just give the test for the Ninja hiring that they've just recently announced, in that case, your score will not be sent to all of these hundred plus corporates, but will only be taken in consideration by TCS for their Ninja Digital or Innovator hiring, right? So on and so forth. Now, in both of these scenarios, if you want TCS to consider your score, you have to mandatorily follow, uh, uh, mandatorily go to uh, TCS's portal that is nextstep.tcs.com, next step portal of TCS, and you have to go and register there as well, right? Then only TCS will go ahead and consider your scores. Now, a lot of you may have already given TCS and QT tests earlier, and you're thinking that okay, what if? Uh, I want to give it again. Should I give it again? Should can I give it in November NQT also? So basically, you can give the NQT test by paying to them as many number of times. It does not matter. Whichever would be your best score that would be taken by TCS or any other corporate for shortlisting you for their interviews, right? So you know, pretty basic. Now. To come across in terms of uh, what is the syllabus for each of them, so I know that TCS has not mentioned the number of questions and has only mentioned. Uh, the timing for each of the section, but we also have the number of questions as well since you know we are in touch with them on a regular basis. So again, first of all, the test is not adaptive. Second, there is no negative marking in the test. Second thing is you cannot switch between sections, but yes, you can switch between questions. Also, 
यू हैव टू ऑप्शन आइदर यू कैन गिव द टेस्ट फ्रॉम होम और यू कैन ऑल्सो गो टू द सेंटर्स ऑफ टी सी एस आई ऑन एंड देन गिव द टेस्ट फ्रॉम देर आई वुड पर्टिकुलरली बी रेकमेंडिंग यू टू गो अहेड एंड गिव द टेस्ट फ्रॉम द आई ऑन सेंटर बिकॉज जनरली वॉट वुड हैपन इज लेट से यू हैव फेसिंग सम इंटरनेट इशूज एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा एट होम सम कंपेटेबिलिटी इशूज एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा सो इन दैट केस if it happens in the tcs ion center so in that case tcs will know you know it was an issue that is happening but let's say if it's happening at your home internet issues test being logged out etc etc so you wouldn't be able to do much about it now to talk about the pattern you have two uh, you have two sections one is mandatory one is the uh, you know the subject nqt part of it so there are two version uh, two sections in the test which are mandatory and then the next one is was classically called as subject nqt in the mandatory section in terms of order in which they will appear the first section is verbal ability which will have 24 questions and then the time given is 30 minutes then you have reasoning ability which has 30 questions and then the time given is 50 minutes then you have numerical ability which has 26 question and the time is uh, 40 minutes now then post that you have programming logic which is 10 questions and 15 minutes then you have hands on coding which has one question which has two questions the first one would be a little easier which would be one question and 15 minutes and then the next question would be a little difficult which ideally you should be able to solve in 30 minutes so basically you'll be getting 45 minutes to solve two coding question one would be easy and then one would be difficult now one caution and this is something that we say every year and then people don't listen I, from the last two years i've been saying it people disregard it and then they comment you know you were right TCS is python compiler sucks it's so bad that i say that do not code in python i myself i am a python coder my primary language to code is python but i please do not code in python you c c++ perl or java uh, because you will be per, you know compiling your program would be perfect it would be compiling perfectly elsewhere but not in the tcs compiler you will face this issue please you know trust me upon that next thing is in the test some of the questions would be you know mcq questions wherein you have to mark a b c d and some of the questions in the quant logical verbal that is uh, and uh, programming logic section would be fill in the blanks wherein you have to enter values or enter uh, you know key uh, strings or words so rather than options those basically would have a little higher marking uh, as well so that's one thing now coming about uh, coming to about verbal ability section there are a lot many topics so i'll cover uh, only the most important ones the other ones you'll see on the screen on the right hand side or somewhere on the screen so in the verbal ability section the most important topics that you would be having are uh, reading comprehension uh, sentence correction close tests synonyms antonyms para jumbles etc etc that you can see on the screen now coming to reasoning ability coding decoding one of the most important section uh, blood relations and uh, you know there are puzzles also that tcs ask sometimes and then others that you definitely can see on the screen which the ones that i'm talking about are the most important ones uh, you know just to highlight which one you should be focusing focusing upon more right now coming to the numerical ability part of it uh, that is quants right so speed time and distance profit and loss uh, permutation combination there's a very important section that is not asked in different uh, uh, placement exam but is asked in tcs that is statistical and factual analysis that is too much to do with statistics so on and so forth and equations so these are the most important topics others that you would also already see on the screen right now coming to the programming logic section now i know this is the most important section to be honest uh, one more thing there is sectional cut off also and then there is uh, overall cut off as well ideally your score out of 1800 should be more than 1650 in the mandatory section uh, that is very very important so make sure that whenever you are attempting the test you always care about the sectional cut off also and then the overall cut off as well coming to the programming logic section uh, the things that you would be asked would be c c++ Uh, so i guess two uh, uh, two to three questions from c two to three questions from c++ then you would also have java one to two questions from java as well and then you have sdlc one to two questions from sdlc and then finally data structures and data structures still 
the from the starting level till the advanced level and you know in the data structures your pseudo code would be based upon c++ most of the times that is what we've seen always the code snippets of data structures etc etc is always there in c++ so you need to focus upon all of these things that i've mentioned so if you're planning to purchase any online course or any training make sure that they are teaching you all of it because we are teaching with the new website that uh, prep and star prime has been launched everything is covered right uh in the coding section so first one would be an easy program the second one would be a little difficult to be honest the last year's uh, uh, tcs exam was so difficult that there was a shlok a sanskrit shlok in the exam and <laughs> you had to solve things related to the shlok uh, the instructions that are given in the sanskrit shlok as well so uh, you know on prep and star all the previous year papers are given in a perfect format so i would recommend you to go ahead and check them as well uh, we'll try to help you with as much as we can with the live videos as well so make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel also guys so i hope uh, you are now quite clear with the syllabus for tcs bus guys uh, do you really think just knowing the syllabus is uh, all that you need no once you know the syllabus now you have to start preparing as well right so i'll uh, i'll just uh, you know take a minute or two here to explain you guys uh, how do you actually need to prepare for tcs cause uh, guys uh, you know the time that you actually take solving each and every question that plays a very major role in tcs cause uh, the, the number of questions are more and the time is less so you need to be very fast so for that you actually need analytics guys so on uh, on prepinsta.com you can actually go to the prepare section all platform all companies and here you can see uh, tcs ninja and tcs nqt both the dashboards are linked both contains the same question cause nqt and ninja are one and the same thing so uh, let me just open one for you so let's say tcs nqt right here you can see guys on the dashboard you can see all the uh, again the syllabus again updated over here here is the preparation section when you scroll it down on the preparation section you can see quants english co coding programming logic coding set full mocks right so let's say we go to quants so in quants let's say you are preparing for percentages let's say you are pre practicing percentages for the time being so let's say you start from here right you can see a uh, free material over here you can see the paid material over here and let's say in any of the paid materials let's say i start from here the quiz number 4 right so let, let me start so let me start solving the question then so when i scroll it down so let's say i answer this particular question here right so i marked it wrong right so i i, I got to know that 21 percent of the students marked it incorrectly and then 48 percent solved it correctly so that means you need more practice right so once i have also answered that i can see first thing i can see is the explanation here the solution detailed solution and then i can also see a graph which shows me uh, what percentage of students solved it before you what percentage of students solved it after you my graph is a little weird because i have not solved a lot of questions here but once you start solving questions on your own you would get even a better analytics right so that is one thing guys apart from that prep insta prime right so guys once you have the prep insta prime subscription you actually get access to both prep insta prime and prep insta.com uh, with all the analytics and all the practice questions all the previous year questions so this this questions that you actually see over here are all the practice you know previous year questions that we have added in the quiz section in the practice section especially for the paid versions right so now when we scroll down to the prep insta prime so this especially uh, this uh, website is designed prep insta prime is designed to give you a netflix kind of experience while watching videos and you know watching videos of different courses that you actually are preparing for so let's say prep insta prime let me just give you a quick walk through here so guys uh, with prep insta prime you get subscription to prep insta prime which includes a lot of skills like popular skills like ai machine learning cyber security ethical hacking you get uh, popular languages like c c++ java python which you need for tcs basic coding intermediate coding competitive coding so even if you are a mechanical student we have a coding course for you and then you can uh, you know start moving on to the next uh, tougher sections and then similarly for aptitude we have quants logical verbal di visual reasoning all that is needed right we have uh, so tcs nqt is already linked there even you get practice more practice question on tcs nqt dashboard on prep insta prime as well apart from that you have interview preparation like puzzle group discussion hr resume all those computer subjects uh, like op uh, op op uh, operating system dbms hdlc and all those you need right so guys uh, let me just quickly show you one of the videos and how it actually looks like right 
So let us say you go to quantitative aptitude, you want to prepare for, let us say speed, time and work, right? And in speed, time and work, let's say, so I'll just show you a clip, a quick clip, which I love the most. So that is X plus. Right. So these are the type of animations and type of explanation that we use here, guys. Uh, right. Let me just in decrease down the volume a bit. Okay, so just a moment here when you will be able to see the kind of animations that we have actually used in all our courses on Prep Insta Prime. So you have best quality videos, you have best quality quizzes with analytics and with previous year questions. So that is what you actually need to do while preparing for PC. So now you can see cars moving, right? So the cars are actually moving and that is how you can actually visualize each and every question, right? So now guys, uh, let me quickly give you an overview of the prices of Prep Insta Prime. I've already told you, once you subscribe to Prep Insta Prime, you get access to all the courses, you get TCS certifications, you get Prep Insta certifications, you get TCS remote internship certificate program, which is very helpful because once you are preparing for TCS, applying for TCS, and when you have a TCS certificate, your chances for clearing the you know uh, TCS even increases more. Uh, now let me tell you, when you buy Prep Insta Prime subscription, you actually get access to both Prep Insta Prime with all the certifications, all the videos, all the courses and also access to prepinsta.com. You get actually get a royal pass access of prepinsta.com wherein you can access all the courses that are available on prepinsta.com as well. All the paid quizzes that I showed you with analytics would be accessible, right? So uh, we have three month packages for 2199, 12 months for 4199, 18 months for 4699 and six months for 319. Nine, nine. So the prices were reduced a day before, right? Uh, just for a day or two, these prices will again become 2499, 4499, 4999 and 3499 and even increase more. So guys, uh, if you are actually very serious about TCS, I believe you should go and you know, check that out once. Thank you so much guys for watching the video. So now there's a quick trailer coming right after this, which will give you, uh, you know, a quick walkthrough on what all the courses contains a quick uh, you know trailer kind of stuff which will give you all the idea about all the courses and all the contents of the videos that we have on prep insta prank thank you so much guys